the channel. Now before we get started on this beautiful piece of red oak, I just wanted to quickly remind you that we are doing a giveaway uh, for when we get to 2,500 subscribers. All you have to do to be in with a chance of winning is to have like, subscribe and leave a comment on any of the videos. Uh, any of the videos from when we pass the 1,000 subscriber mark. Now I'm reminding you now because we are getting incredibly close. It kind of crept up on me. It's uh, gone a little bit crazy. So this has come around an awful lot faster than I thought it could do. So anyway, right, let's get started. As I mentioned, we've got some red oak. I processed this uh, a few months ago, so it won't be fully dried yet, but I wanted to do strange things. I'm gonna try and turn it quite thin so it can warp and crack and become really nice and rustic. We're not gonna use a natural edge, we're gonna do a normal shape bowl. Uh, and rather than using a worm screw, because I've got quite an un uneven shape on the base, I'm gonna go in with a, uh, a face plate, I think. We're going to have to trim off that corner. Right, this is it's going to be out of balance at the start. So we're using tailstock support for extra security. I'm going to sharp up and we shall begin. Love on my left hand because some of these uh, bits of bark are nipping away at it. Quite a substantial crack here, so we'll keep on going. See if that removes. Oh, I'm one there as well. We'll see if that removes themselves. If not, we'll stabilize them a bit and continue. This is the main one that's going to give us the most amount of problems. The rest of them are just hairline. We need to come down a bit further to get rid of this. So we'll see where we, this one stands when we get there. process is whatever I put in here the bowl with it being still slightly damp is going to change shape and I don't want what I put in here to run the risk of cracking so in that respect something like a milliput is probably going to be a good solution and I can do them all at once as well just a normal jet black milliput. It's not going to detract too much from the bowl and it'll do the job. Okay, right I'll go and get some milliput made up. I'll do that in the house because it's freezing out here. Right, I'll be back in a second. Right. 
you've not used milliput before, it's just basically a two-part epoxy putty. And when you mix the two parts together, uh, it uh, starts the hardening process. And when it is fully dry, it goes rock solid. It can be sanded, milled, turned, everything. Brilliant stuff. And of course, the other advantage is that when your bowl's still on the lathe, you can fill all the gaps all the way around without having to tape it or anything like that. I'm trying to get push this as far into the gaps as I can. There's a very small gap here, which will probably just get turned away, but I'll put it in anyway, just in case. reason this is cracked is because the pith was left in and if you leave the pith in a piece of wood that's when it's drying out that's a very very good chance of cracking as you see so that's on me I didn't do a good enough job of that bit bit around the pith but I'm going to be taking that out before I uh, finish up that bowl so that's not going to be there. Right okay we'll let this sit for 24 hours and then come back and finish it off or we'll take the next step because we're just going to have to do this on the inside as well. Okay it's had not quite 24 hours but it should be set enough to turn. So I'll just quickly do a few cuts up here, get clear that off and see what it's like underneath. I'm just gonna, I've got quite a bit of this edge at different heights. So I'm just gonna try and take this down a little bit from this side before I turn it around. I'll do the bottom because it's throwing everything off balance and it may cause problems later on. Sort out the bottom. Ready for the recess? Right. It's all good. Right, I'll give the outside a quick sand and put a finish on. I'll let you watch the start of the sanding, but then I'll, uh, I'll finish off. Right, it's set it up to 400. I want to try and keep as much of the natural colour in this as possible, so I'm just going to use a normal uh, cellulose sealer as opposed to a shellac and then go on the top with a Hampshire sheen. We'll do a bit of uh, Yorkshire grit in between.
finishing off with a Hampshire Shane. Get this turned around. Right, at the start, we're going to use tailstock support because we've still got this big lump of wood here at the top that we need to take down, and that's going to throw it out. So we want to be safe, we want to make sure we're balanced. So I'll just slowly put that in, and that's definitely guaranteed in the center. Quickly go and sharpen up again, but the first port of call here is to take this away and get rid of the pith. All of this colour is all heading from the pith, so I'm going to keep some of it, but I do need to go down just a fraction further to make sure all the pith is out. Lost a chunk of the uh, the milliput there, but that's no big problem. That side's still fine. Okay, right. Let's start hollowing out. I'll leave the tailstock there for a little bit while I go in, but it'll have to come away fairly soon. Stuck away now. Quick sanity check, make sure we're not going too deep. It's still about half an inch at the bottom there, so I can take a little bit further. But I want to try and thin these walls just a fraction more. I'm going to just take down, make the bowl just a little bit lower as well. This is looking nice. nearly ready for scraping. Oh blimey. Right, the, uh, the milliput I had in here and in there has gone. It has completely gone. So, as you can see that is really quite uh, Quite fragile now. And here's me thinking I can get this finished before lunch. Right, I'm not going to do resin. I'm going to go back in with Millie Put. So I'll go and quickly mix some more and we'll fill these bits again. It's like deja vu. 
Right. I'm slightly disappointed that the original middle book gave out. It may have been because it was it been sat around, it was quite old stuff I was using, or because it was being uh, left overnight in a cold place and hadn't quite cured properly. So anyway, this is a brand new packet. It's nice and soft. So on these larger cracks here, we're going to feed it in from both sides to make sure there's good coverage. The outside's going to have to be finished again, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. Make sure there's plenty of the edges. I'll take this inside to cure rather than leaving it overnight in the cold workshop. I'm starting to wish I hadn't gone quite so thin on these walls because I'm going to have to take it back a bit to clean this up. But I did say I wanted a thin bowl. Okay, there we have it again. <laughs> I'll take this into the house, we'll let it set overnight, and we'll come back tomorrow and finish it off. Okay, well, that's the next day. This has dried nice and hard. We do have a slight issue though, that the bowl has moved an awful lot. If I just let it spin. You can see how out of round it's become. I wanted the ball to move, but I preferred it to move after we'd finished. So, we're gonna go forward carefully and see if we can salvage this. I'll scrape the inside first, get rid of this milliput, and then if there's some wood left, we'll have a, do the same to the outside. some bits of it. Right, I'm going with the gouge. A slightly more purposeful cut. take any more of that inside because we're getting perilously thin on this edge. Right, okay, let's try the outside. Not good. Oh well. I wonder if I can make that into something. <laughs> Am I clutching at straws? 
Well, it's an ending. It's not the ending we wanted, but you don't get to win them all. And I've done pretty well recently. I haven't messed up for quite a, a good few weeks. But I would have had normally had a go at uh, gluing this because, you know, you can get it back in quite tight. But because this wall is so thin on this side, if it was to hold up with the gluing, by the time I've turned away the millipot on the outside, there'd have been nothing, virtually nothing left of this wall. But that's the joys of wood turning. As I said, you don't win them all, and I've done pretty well. And I'm not going to feel bad about it because unless you try these things, you never learn and uh, you don't get better. So we'll take the lessons, say thank you very much. I shall put this on the shelf of shame and we will move on. Uh, but apart from that, it's Christmas Eve. Thank you all very, very much for supporting me over this my first year as a YouTuber. It's been an incredible experience. Uh, the next bowl we do is going to be the two and a half thousand subscriber giveaway bowl because as I, uh, last time I checked, I think we were uh, about 97 away from the two and a half thousand. So we better start making that. Uh, so thank you very much indeed for joining me on this journey. It's been incredible. You've all been amazing. So thank you very much, and I'll uh, I'll see you after the after Christmas. I hope you all have an amazing time. Be safe, be merry, and take care of the ones you love. Thank you. <laughs>